coming to what you don't know about Tenchi Muyo, like Tenchi Forum, that's us. Um, basically, if you are, uh, if you're a Tenchi fan, uh, there's a lot of things that most people go over. They go over what the series are, uh, what are in those series, the characters. But this is more uh, relegated to the things that should be more known or aren't known, and uh, most people don't know about. I was just in here. But in the event that you're completely new to Tenchi Muyo, uh, we have a really cool promo that was done on Toonami. You're just talking about hooks. Oh, good. <laughs> Here, here's your hook. It might be a little weird, but it should be good. Oh, you turn that down. Okay. You have our attention. Now it's not at all. Deep in rural Japan, a boy trains diligently. Soon he will become a man. Now is your time to crack the future of his name. Tenshi Masaki. In an instant, the reality Tenshi knows will be shattered. He will enter a world where alien princesses traverse the galaxy in living ships. Space pirates thunder at will. And Galaxy Police Patrol the stars protecting the innocent. But the most important discovery you'll make is that six crazy women living under the same roof all have the hearts for <laughs> actually know about I Tenchi Muyo. Um, as you can see, it features a cast of many new characters, but it also includes the uh, old classic girls, with the exception of Kiyone. Um, all of the girls, uh, the original Japanese voice actresses, came back, and uh, with the exception of Aegis, who uh, her Japanese seiyu has retired, uh, but her replacement is fantastic. <coughs> Uh, the, the term that the company used, AIC was using, is a celebration of the franchise. And many of the things that are in I Tenshi Muyo are callbacks or, you know, various fun little jokes that they've done throughout the series to, uh, you know, call attention to that. Uh, it is 54 minute episodes, so instead of being normal length episodes, they're shorts. Uh, if you're, uh, if you know about like Italia, they're very uh, spontaneous, but they do have an overarching plot. Uh, the characters themselves, the original cast, are based off of, uh, you know, continuity-wise, the original, the first OVA. Um, the director is Hiroshi Nagishi, who did Universe, Movie 1 and Movie 3, and you see a lot of his style come out in the show. Um, and the, the ultimate plot, or the ultimate, uh, what they're trying to get to is, uh, it was created as an advertisement series for the city of Takahashi in Okayama, and Okayama 
is also happens to be the same city where uh, Ryoko's cave and the Masaki Shrine are in real life. And the story is based on Momotaro, or the legend of Momotaro, which is Peach Boy. And we are going to show you one of the episodes of I Tenshi Muyo. And uh, this one, this is, this is a good one. We also have uh, subtitles as well. We, uh, yeah, we fan sub this one. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> as they come out. Yeah. Check our Facebook, we post every day. Uh, we also do super cuts, so if you want to watch the whole week at once, you can uh, check on Friday afternoon, and we will usually have that up uh, as soon as we can. So, uh, yeah, go check it out. A lot of new characters and fun. Like Momo, she's just a, she's just a bottle of happiness. <laughs> and, uh, God. and then that uh, advisor his or whatever, it's like, hey, I've uh, dealt with Washi, bring it on. And, uh, <laughs> So then we're going to go over some uh, of the rare fun facts in Tenchi. Uh, the first ever laser disc produced by Pioneer was Volume One of Tenchi Muyo, and uh, this is kind of a big deal because the laser disc and VHS market in Japan 
in the early 80s is what, uh, because of Laserdisc players and VHS, is what facilitated uh, creating OVA series in the first place. And Pioneer, most people might know as the company who made everything over here and dubbed things, but in Japan, they were, I think, the second largest producer of media. And so if you had an anime soundtrack, they probably brought it over here. And so for their first Laserdisc to be Tenchi Muyo, that was a big deal. They put a lot behind the show. The next one is that the first ever appearance of a Tenchi Muyo character wasn't actually in Tenchi at all. It was uh, in episode 126 of Ron Mahath, a cold day in Ferronkin, eight months before the episode, the first episode aired in 1992. Uh, most times, you know, people might think when they add in like cameo characters, there might be, uh, you know, the animators just having fun. But this is this is a the very uh, example of that because at this point in the episode, Ranma is, you know, finding a yeti, and you have to go frame by frame, and then Ryoko is there, and so you know, <laughs> she uh, she was popular even in the series she wasn't in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and this one, one of the bigger ones, was also about Ryoko. In the original version of the storyboard for episode uh, 2 of OVA 1, uh, in the dub is when Tenchi says, uh, is holding the sword from Ryoko and he says, you can't touch this. Uh, in the original version of this that went all the way to storyboard, Ryoko kisses Tenchi. And uh, that would have changed a lot of dynamics in the show had it had it happened that early on. <laughs> now, the next part is on... Yes. Yes. Okay. was 13 novels. Now, most people in Tenchi know about the manga. No need for Tenchi in the all-new Tenchi Muyo. Um, a smaller degree of fans know about Misaki Kajishima's Shin Tenchi novels, but Naoko Hasegawa was the script writer for the first OVA, and she created 13 novels. And her 13 novels, of the 13, of the 13 novels, one of which was adapted, number 10, into Daughter of Darkness. Uh, many people think that it stands out as not being a part of any other series, but in fact it did. And it was the precursor. It's kind of like the Rosetta Stone when we found this novel because it, Hasegawa was very candid about the things that were going on in the background. And uh, it was the first instance of Kione being introduced into Tenchi in 1993. And more, most importantly, this novel was so popular with Japanese fans that it, AIC made the Mahoshi special on the sales of the first novel, and many Japanese fans regard it as a true sequel to OV1. Now, do you want to go on the same? Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, we have Matt and Matt and Tria in the audience, if they would like to uh, come up and read a little bit for us. Sure. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a small <laughs> section. We, to we haven't rehearsed. <laughs> go to you. <laughs> do you have it on paper? I do. I okay. Think. You have it? <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to do it straight face. marked out here as well, so you can know can do this part. I only have one copy. Oh, okay. Yes, we're going. This was for our show. I have not acted together in, uh, what, 19 years? Something like that? Okay. And we didn't actually act together. Yeah, that's right. We were in the booth at the park. Except for that first day. This is the first day they had to redo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just jumping in here. It's different than that. Don't say such things, Ryoko. Oh. Those things don't matter now, Ryoko. What are you saying? You're fine. You might think it's impossible to be like a human, but I like you just as you are now, Ryoko. He likes me? Does he really mean it? Tenji, why is she shaking so much? Why is her body so warm? <laughs> Tenji, it's strange. 
I feel weak. Where's this going, guys? <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good yeah. The dream come true. <laughs> what you all wanted to see all these years. <laughs> Ryoko! I'm scared. She turns her face uh, away. Yes. Ryoko, what happened? Um, Tenchi, it's hopeless. It hurts. I... <laughs> <laughs> it's warm here in the dark. The feeling is this is this the meaning of love? The this is this is love. Yeah. Thank you both so much for that. That was incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I will legitimately buy or pay for it. Footage of it will be up. It will be up uh, on our YouTube channel. Kind of wonder where that was going. Dagon. <laughs> dead. Yeah. Dead. Oh, we just hit it again. No, 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 no. Battery dead. Oh, okay, that's what we got. Back. Okay, good. <laughs> um, so that was uh, that was the dialogue from our translation. We are doing uh, all 13 novels. We did a first run of the first novel, but it didn't come out too too well. So I'm going back through and redoing it uh, myself and my partner. Uh, Wesley back there. We've been working on these for a little while, and uh, it is, uh, it's been a ride, and it's, uh, it's a tremendous honor to have those two read that for us. Uh, did not mean to make it sound that pornographic. <laughs> 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 but, uh, I'm, glad that, uh, I'm glad they helped us out there, and uh, look forward to the, the, any future releases we have for you there. Cool. And the, uh, the final part of our panel is about a particular special from Tenchi in Tokyo. Now this special was first exclusively released in on the Japanese Laserdiscs and it was only officially released on DVD for the 10th anniversary set. Uh, it has never been officially released in the West subtitled or dubbed. It never made it onto any release over here and it was not translated into English until this year by uh, the good people at Tenchi Forum and uh, <laughs> Miss Dream subs. They are fantastic. And uh, it, it is pretty much what you would expect from a TV special. It is completely over the top. It has a ton of references to media that they probably wouldn't be able to get the license for over here anyway. And uh, it all culminates to a parody of Bruce Lee's Game of Death. And we are going to uh, show you a few clips from that special. ご無料。なあ、ね。ああ、ね。よ。まさかあんたは頭も。ハデに行こうぜ、ハデに。天地達観作戦。レディーゴー。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Ha <laughs> ha 
Questions about anything? Yep. Where are you guys based? Um, the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning, like, are you guys local or are you from out of town? Maryland. <coughs> Lincoln, Nebraska. Ohio. I see. Yeah, I've got other reps from the East Coast and uh, as well. So, yeah, North Carolina, Texas. Just all over. Oh, they wow. Were, they were like, you know, hey, and, uh, internet. The, 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 the wealth of Virginia over there as well. I asked because I want to know how to pledge my soul to this group. <laughs> we can do it right now. I'm just saying, like, you know, well, well, actually, if you want, I have. Oh, yeah, for you, sir. Yeah, cards. I got plenty of cards. We got cards for you. Okay. Cards, cards. And, and I got. A, unfortunately, I have a camera. Throw them at the audience. Throw them. No, we already threw magic cards at the audience. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Cards. Sure, have cards. I won't deny you cards. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. good. That's the official paper cut. Twitter, Facebook. All right. Pull the cards out. Here we go. Pick a card, eh? Thank you. Thank you so much. It was funny. It, it was kind of funny because most people who were not fans of Tenshi in Tokyo, who we showed this to, they they kind of really warmed up to it. Like it was it was really, I mean, it's classic Tenshi, and it was really it, it's pretty much anybody can get into the special. I think that's what they were trying to go for. So I guess that's why I said, yeah, not being a part of that actual series, you know, because it, it, it does seem a little out of character for her. So it's just kind of this special, where does it fit in? Does it matter? You know, it, it's kind of, it, it's just kind of more from her perspective, actually, Saki's perspective. And so that was uh, what made it enjoyable. But be forewarned that the, the whole, uh, there's, there's no rise and falls with that one. It's just like, <laughs> okay, right. and then we're doing this, and then we're doing this. It's so, yeah, okay, very good observation. Sorry for the interruption. Well, should we start from the beginning? Well, with most series, with most series, you have one creator. With Dragon Ball, you have a Toriyama. With uh, Ranma, it's Rumiko Takahashi. You know, so on and so forth. And usually, they make a manga first. Tenshi is pretty much the exception to the rule in every single instance. Tenshi was created by two people, uh, Hiroki Hayashi and Masaki Katsushima. It started out as an anime first, and uh, the first OVA, which was the first six episodes, was created by uh, Hayashi, Katsushima, and Hasegawa. And then there was a split between Kajishima and Hayashi, which actually was very public in Japan, and so Kajishima kind of took over the OVA from that point on. Um, Hayashi moved on to do El Hazard, and Hasegawa did her 13 novels. And also at that time, you know, Tenchi over here was very popular, but in Japan in 1996, I don't think there was an anime bigger than Tenchi. It was a juggernaut for Pioneer. It made a lot of money. And so they made a lot of series to uh, facilitate that. And because Kajishima is not a fan of working on TV series, and he only likes to work in OVA, and he only likes to work a certain way, AIC, who is being partly funded by Pioneer in Japan, said, okay, well, we need to make more series. And so here's what we're going to do. And so Hiroshi Higishi, who was the director of Universe, uh, he kind of took the helm for a long time and, you know, made all the different series for Tokyo. Uh, 
from what we've read and heard, Tokyo was originally supposed to be a sequel to Universe, but they scrapped that for we don't have a real reason for, but they changed everything because it was easier to start kind of start over than to try and follow what someone else was doing when you you know, when some people say, well, this is how it's supposed to be, or we need to, like, again, with Dragon Ball, like, some people don't like GT because it's what it is. You have to, uh, some people didn't want to step on his toes. They didn't, they wanted to be able to do their own thing outside of that, so it was very open. And so that's why we have so many continuities in Tenchi. Really good question, though. It, it makes things. I'm surprised I explained it. In that job. <laughs> <laughs> it's taken us 20 years to figure that out. <laughs> you know, when you buy nowadays, uh, Funimation recently acquired the rights and had since redistributed a lot of the, the you know the classic series and stuff. Um, I had never seen this before for any any kind of release or anything. But on the back, they have they have it says you are here and it's got a little map. To the continuity because it's like we know you're going to be confused so let me break this down for you because it, it really is it's that convoluted but uh but it, it's crazy how um explaining that to people who, who don't know about tenshi are like well that's that's crazy and and again very good question why and how did that happen but i'm amazed with with tenshi it's like these characters are that are are, are that charismatic and that larger than life that it's like you know one one story, one one writer, one director couldn't hold them all, you know. It's, it's so, so yeah. And, and here we go, 2014, and we and we start all over again with uh, with I Tenchi Muyo here, and we'll just we'll keep going with it as long as they as long as they keep doing it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> gosh, we kind of uh, we've kind of uh, we've kind of put. Because uh, it's it's still not uh, finished yet, it's still ongoing right now. So we're kind of we're kind of waiting to see there. But uh, we've kind of put it in its own um, in its own little corner for right now. But uh, it it does seem to it, it does have the director from uh, Tenchi TV, Tenchi Universe. So and a lot of characters, designs, and personalities seem to be drawn from that. But as to whether it's you know a, a direct sequel to that or I'm not really sure yet. I, I don't. I don't. Because because again, it's not over yet. But we haven't seen Kione uh, Kiwi, uh, uh, Mahoshi's capable-minded partner. The only thing keeping her going a lot of times. And so down here in the yeah, you're like where's where's Kion? So you know what? Uh, yeah, uh, but at least it's nothing new to Tenchi fans, I guess. You know, we're, oh, we're, we're gonna start from scratch again. Okay, all right. Well, guess not. Well, ac actually, one thing that's notable is on the official site, i i tenshi dot jp, or got code at jp. I forget forget precisely. Yeah, but jp. Uh, they actually have character descriptions and character designs and so on. And when they list the character designs for all the characters that we all know and love, Ryoko Aik and so on, they do pull more heavily from the OVA's continuity descriptions, even though they have Nagishi at the helm and have pulled a lot of tropes from Universe. So it is kind of this interesting hodgepodge of a little bit of everything. Again, celebration of the franchise. We, uh, something we noticed was that, uh, actually I think it was you who pointed that out, well, um, the Tenshi Ken that Tenshi uses is actually based off of the universe design instead of the OVA's design. There are two distinct different designs for that. Uh, there was also a difference with the Misaki house, which you do actually see the exterior for, is a little bit different than uh, both the universe and the OVA timeline houses. So there's like it, it's it's a it's a mixed match of all the different uh, continuities. It, it is, as they say, the celebration of the franchise. So if you like the universe more, universe you you get your gags in. OVA fans get their gags in. Tokyo fans. I mean, there may be something there for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of those, so... If, you know, are there Tokyo uh, fans? There are indeed. We found a few, yes, amazingly, over the years on the internet. We've found a there, there, are a few, there are things leading to uh, to all roads, so... Um. So this one right here, is this like the continuation of the OVA? Because I think I, mean, I, I didn't see... I remember viewing the last episode, and mm. some stuff didn't still make sense. Yeah, that's You're not uh, alone there. But I was like, I remember watching. I'm like, this still doesn't make that much sense. I'm viewing because you know, Washu and there's two other people who 
kind of create more? Yeah, the chosen. Yeah, yeah. Okay, mm. it's a hot button topic for the fandom. It's 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 difficult to explain, but it is in fact the continuation of the first and second OVAs. So it it is how the story goes. That's that's pretty much Masaki Kajishima has full control right there, and uh, he's been he's been steering the story in a bit of a different direction than it was initially intended. There's actually an interview with both. Masaki Kajishima and Hiroki Hayashi in the year 2000, around the time that OVA3 was officially beginning production internally. Uh, Hayashi, in his interview, was uh, very specific that there were certain things, how, and he continued to say that this is how it was supposed to be. He, they had an outline in 1992 of how the story was going to go until presumably towards the end, if not had the ending already written. And um, Kajishima was basically like, I'll rewrite whatever the hell I want to, you know. I will I will change this until it fits how I want it to fit. So there's a lot of problems with OVA three. There were some good parts to it. It's not all bad, but you know, a lot of it is just the unfortunate uh, reality that there are a lot of questions that simply won't be answered and can't be answered. Uh, and who knows if there will be an OVA four at this point to uh, to answer some of those confusions. But everybody's there with you. There's there's a lot of confusion there. Okay, cut off in a way. It did, right. yeah, yeah. I don't remember it, but I like, crazy, like I was annoyed, like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, like so at least, yeah. So yeah, he he does, you know he did the character designs originally, but they were they had a team before Hayashi was directing, and he had Hasegawa doing a lot of the writing, and when those elements were gone, and Kajishima said, I you know I can do everything myself. And, okay, well it's 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 what it is, so. I'm glad you guys described it that well because I would not be able to. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, any, any more questions? You think we have some time for more questions? Or? No, I mean, I don't. I wasn't really sure if we were supposed to go for an hour or half an hour. Do we get the Nobody's come in here yet, so. Okay, well, we'll we can keep going. Then. Good. Any, any, any more questions? You got another one here? What about Pretty Sam? Ooh, that's Ooh, pretty sammy. It is. It's a real thing. It's, it's a very real thing. Uh, I haven't actually seen that one myself. So. John, have you seen that? I, uh, I saw the uh, OB for that. And I think what uh, yet another example there is it kind of started out, um, and I think it just kind of started out as it, you know, it was, well, it was uh, a joke. Right. It's taking advantage of the popularity of, like, Sailor Moon. They, they saw how popular you know? Sailor Moon was <laughs> and said, okay, well, we're going we're gonna to kind of play a joke on that. Like, let's, let's just play a joke on it and see where it goes. And then it exploded. And they made, what, three series? OVA, OVA TV series, then Magical Girls Club. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it, yeah people love that, too. Isn't as it's oh, it's just like yeah, that bad. The yeah, whole from what I've seen of it. <laughs> That's why I, 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 I don't, you know, I, I don't hate on it at all. But that was just kind of like, which is kind of cool about Tenchi is, is people that's more their cup of tea and enjoyed it and loved it great. And I, I didn't make it through all of that because it is kind of all that level where you know, it's like, oh, the power of love will you know, save me. That's, that's nice. That's great. But, uh, I think that's one of the great things about Tension Rio is the fact that it has something for every anime fan. Like, it, there, if you can think of it, it has it. If you're into shoujo series, it has it. If you're into shonen stuff, it has it. If you're into sci-fi or uh, even slightly fantasy, it has it. It is a show for everybody. And as you can see here from this uh, this room, Tension is a very special series to a lot of people. And, uh, it's, it just has never died. Like it, it has always stayed strong. Even uh, you know, you don't always see the fans, but anytime a new Tenchi series comes around, you start to see a peek out of the that. <laughs> 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 hey, there's a new Tenchi series out there. <laughs> okay, what do you guys think about the other spin-off series that's connected to Tenchi? That it's his cousin that goes to a different dimension with all these girls. Oh, you guys are great. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 I think what you're referring to there is, uh, is Funimation um, having recently, uh, yeah. this, it's been out for a while, but yeah, Funimation recently dubbed it and they uh, changed the title a little bit to call it uh, War on Gemini, that's what yeah. that's that known as. And that's actually, um, it's, uh, that one's uh, also uh, Kajushima going that way. And uh, so the, the plot there is, uh, the premise is it's, it's uh, it's Tenchi's half brother. Uh, yeah, his dad gets remarried and has uh, has another kid, and, and he grows up and and uh, yeah, it, um, it's uh, 
I, I liked what he w I haven't seen. It. I liked what he tried to do a little bit with. Um, you had a you had a new character. Uh, it didn't have Tenchi in the title. Uh, I can't even say the Japanese. Second, yeah, go ahead. Uh, Isekai no Seikishi Monogatari. Who's in Titan? So. Yeah, yeah, um, but uh, you know they they uh, I, I like what they were doing with uh, you know this was uh, yeah Kenshi a new character getting to have his, his own literally his own world to explore and, and grow up and there's new characters and, and new girls and stuff and now it's just a matter of uh, you know it, it's it seems to be kind of Shima style more it's a lot more of your typical harem uh, you know rom com antics like that um, and then. Where he left off with that, and where he's planning to go, uh, you, you know, in his dojins, that's a whole other matter. But, uh, but overall, uh, you know, I mean, oh, there we go. We actually do have one of those here. Uh, this okay. is a, this is a partial continuation for War on Geminar. Uh, can't really go through everything that happens in it because we don't have all that much time. But he he does continue his story somewhat in these dojins, these handmade uh, little mangas that he does. We, uh, we have done some translations for some of them. Uh, it's difficult to work with because there is a lot of text as well, as you can see on some of these pages here. But uh, he is still thinking about Geminar. And uh, I know he was talking about wanting to do novels for, was it? I think he's done with GXP now. So I think he was thinking about doing more novels for Geminar as well. Yeah. What's your opinion on GXP? Yeah, we're saying in your mind. I'll let you guys know that one. Mm. <laughs> uh, you know, it, for just I, I honestly, uh, I've tried a couple times, and this is just me personally. I've never actually made it all the way through, and that just goes back to uh, people's cup of tea, and that one is very much. And you see a pattern here when you see these multiple series, you kind of go, that, "Oh, that's that's kind of Kajishima's lights and stuff." It's GXP or GP, whichever. X there is uh, is also very it gets heavily into it. It's it's a har harem where you know but I think at the very end Sena he, he does like he like you know instead of the tension dynamic where you have who's he gonna choose who's he gonna end up with uh, Kajushima doesn't have that tact and he just oh, I'll marry all five of them. The end. Like, <laughs> yep. Okay. And it's on the moon. Not only did he marry all five of them, but he married all five of them on the moon. Yeah. <laughs> and then they have a three hours. Yeah, four others. Four. Yeah, so that wasn't quite my cup of tea. And I also think, uh, mm. I, I wish he would have done with that, like he did. What I did respect about War on Gemini was don't go into uh, GXP or War on Gemini really expecting to see like more stuff with Tenchi. Um, so I felt that GXP, it's called Tenshi Muyo GXP. I feel that title was a little misleading because Tenshi and the girls, they make like one episode cameo. And it's just kind of like, oh hey, we're just chilling at the house, but nothing happens. It's nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> I say it, have a nice day. And then, yeah, so War on Gemini has a none, but to its credit, I felt like finally, you know, Kaidoshima, he, he's, he's, he's doing other things, other characters, other worlds, and I, I, think, that's, uh, I think that's cool, that I expect it. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> hey, actually, this is just a brief. I gotta go because we have a, another autograph thing. Can we get you guys up here real quick? We have something for you. Oh, yeah. Some real for you then. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. People want still do questions. That has more time than I do, but I gotta go get a sweater. Yeah. Well, well, thank you for letting us know. Much appreciated. Okay. You know, you guys are amazing. Well, thank you. I yeah. love Tenji Forum. <laughs> There's a wood burning in Rio. Wood burning. You guys can keep doing this. Wow, these are great. Yeah, we know a guy. Yeah, we know a guy. Are you tall? Yeah, that's, that's from all of us for uh, being so awesome and keeping yes. us in it all. <laughs> Thank you both. So this way, this way, this way. This way. Miller, Matt Miller, <laughs> Patria. The ego boost. <laughs> yeah, just look at that. Yay. You didn't need it. Be like, you know what? <laughs>
Yep. Thank you all. That's thank you so great. much for thank everything. You thank, thank you for coming here and doing the uh, the words for us as well. As very much. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Th thank you all. So thank you both so much. We're going to be around another day. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was kind of our big finale. You can't top that. Yeah. But, but if we have the room still, and it's kicking us out, if people do have more questions or just want to talk about it. So. What time is it anyway? Thank you guys for coming. Yeah. Thank you. I lose track of time when I'm talking to you. 653. We got seven minutes. Uh, we have the forum as well, tenshiforum.com, where you can interact with us directly there. Uh, if you haven't gotten a card already from Will, we still have plenty to get, so come on up here and get some. Uh, we also have uh, TenshiCast, the one and only Tension Leo podcast, yep. where we talk about all things Tension Leo. And like uh, Mr. Ray over here said, if there's a social media network, we're probably on it. Just search uh, Tenshi Forum and look for the blue. Oh, Ray, we also yeah. have uh, I, I Tenshi Talkback yes, as well. That's right. uh, if you want to get on the yeah, podcast, yeah. so to speak, we do a weekly podcast for the new series I Tenshi, where if you comment uh, using the hashtag I Tenshi Talkback, which we will, uh, you can see in our releases, it'll, it'll be available so you can see how to use it exactly. Just, just so you can uh, get a chance to have your thoughts for that week's episodes heard, because we do uh, we do a new podcast every single week, record Saturday. So uh, you know, if you want to interact, if you want to have your thoughts read and discussed on the podcast, that's that's the way to do it. Oh yeah. Uh, there's no more, no more questions. Oh, got one back here. Um, yeah, I'm curious if you guys ever read up more on the lore of Washu, because I know she has this whole history behind where she got in OBA. She, she uh, according to what Kajishima has written in his, uh, in the novels in particular, it's novel three. No, novel Washu. Well, no, Washu's when they talk about, well, I mean, there's stuff, well, anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, basically, in the beginning, there was Washu, and she literally, <laughs> that's it right there. <laughs> that's it. Uh, she, she basically was kind of like, the god who created everything and at one point in the past um, the civilizations that sprung up from her doing that uh, created three clones from her to destroy her they failed and so she imprisoned herself in the body of an infant child to preserve her power and from then on she was raised and Washu, as we know her, at what is she always refers to as the Galactic Academy, where she learned. Uh, that's where she kind of grew up. She met Naja, who is essentially the original Kagato, and uh, they became quick friends. She met, I don't even remember which one of them is, but it is. One of Mihoshi's great, 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 great grandfather or something. <laughs> and uh, she met him. They had a kid, which you see briefly in OVA 2 when Washington was talking about her child. And uh, from then on, she creates Kagato. And Kagato says, hey, you need to make me a slave that I can go around the universe and dump people with. <laughs> and so uh, she creates Ryoko. And then uh, Washu, as we know her, is imprisoned in uh, the Soja. Uh, Kagato's ship that he steals from the academy, and then that's where we get into uh, OVA one. You also don't want to be a clay either. She didn't be clay at the academy. He does have. Oh well, yeah, yeah, that's in the novel as well. Right. Yeah, their yeah, first right. meeting yeah. at the academy. Yeah, yeah. Clay was always always jealous of uh, Washu, but like it's pretty it pretty much he explains it very well in OVA two. He he always tried to create things to be better than Washu, to be better than people. And he never really cared about him. And of course, Nausea and Washu always made fun of him and played pranks on him because he was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. there's a, there's a, uh, we said things you might not know about. So in the OVA continuity, Kajushima's continuity, uh, Hoshi and Washu are technically related. So I bet Washu doesn't like to hear that. But <laughs> there you go. So. <laughs> Yeah, so now you can see why some people like Nagishi, where like Tenchi Universe start from scratch, like, how about Washu is a mad scientist? 
there you go, go with it, you know, and it, it's, it's like, uh, you, it doesn't have to be, doesn't have to, you know, doesn't necessarily have to be super complicated, and yeah, in the beginning, there was Washu, and like, <laughs> oh, the universe her ego would, she would, she would, she'd agree with that. No. <laughs> So yeah, thank you. Guys. Thank you. Awesome. Right. Big thanks to some of our old fans. We actually have one back there who's uh, who's been. Uh, She's a great artist. She's very <laughs> great. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely, go take a look at her stuff. Uh, we also have a, a fan. I think she's here, Rachel, on the face. She, she was actually walking around as Rio. Yeah, she is. She's still we walking around. Rio go, and it wasn't Patria, it was hers. So. <laughs> <laughs> we have a few other older fans here. So thank you all if, you, uh, if you've been with us. If you're just joining us, we look forward to many years ahead with you all. Thank you for, uh, thank you for supporting us and being here at this panel. It's fantastic to see you all. Let's keep Tenchi going. That's right. Yeah. 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 Ye